Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Vaz Vega here again, and I want to explain to you how you can install Project Reality Battlefield 2 version 1.3. Now the interesting thing, thing about this is that it's a standalone version, while the previous versions were Alliance of Battlefield 2. And installing it could be a bit of a pain in the butt because you had to install the game, Battlefield 2, then you have to get the right drivers to update it and whatnot. It's just, it, was, it wasn't easy. But now, uh, with this new update is standalone and it's pretty exciting for most of us here. So I'm just going to explain to you how you do it. What you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, www.realitymod.com and there you'll see this. Now from this page you can go to this link here where it says download Project Reality Battlefield 2 1.3 or you can go to downloads. I'm going to go to downloads and you'll see this screen it's a little bit different if you click that the link. But you'll see this. Click it. Scroll down. And here you see full client Project Reality Battlefield 2 version 1.3 full. Now these other two ones you can also download this one. You can't download this one. But they're not interesting to you right now. Except this one will be very important later. But that's for different reasons. Click download now. And you'll see you have a torrent and it's to download. Now if you don't already have a torrent client, what you can do is you go to uTorrent. It's a free uh, system. You can uh, click a uh, free download. Sorry it's in Dutch. But you'll see a free download for Windows. Now I already did that so that's not really interesting to me but it'll explain itself and it'll also be in English, don't be worried. Click download. I get this. And then it'll pop up with this screen. You'll see it'll download to this file. You'll get this, and this is the this is what you'll be using. Click OK. And I'll start downloading. Now I'm going to end it right away because I've already downloaded it and don't need to download it again. All right. Now we've done that. Now we need to open the file. Now I'm using Demon Tools. What you can use is other projects like ISO, and other files that can mount ISO files. It could be a bit complicated, but just look for something like Demon Tools or other, this is Demon Tools Lite, or other um, uh, ISO mounting files on the internet with Google, whatever, and you'll be sure to find it within a few seconds. Don't worry about it. Now you see it's 6.72 gigabytes, and that may seem a little bit large, but don't worry, that's not too big. Now with this, what we'll do is we'll go to Open, and Open with Demon Tools Lite. Now it's going to start to mount, I'll just here mounting image. And then we'll open the folder. And this is what we'll see here. Now, as we've done this, we're going to do a little, uh, say something a little bit in between. You have to remove Project Reality version 1.21. Uh, you should also remove Battlefield 2 as it's no longer supported and be a little bit surprised if you're still playing it. Not that it's a bad game, but it's a little bit out of date. And while also doing that, you can also get rid of Punk Buster. Now click Setup. It'll be asked, is this right? Of course it's right. I know what I'm doing. I'm not insane. Click Next, yada yada yada. You can read this too. It's very exciting. I already read this quickly. Not very much. You should always read these things. There can be little tricks inside of it. But I've already installed this, so I removed it just for this video. That's why I can't show you the removal of the previous version of uh, Project Reality. You'll have to hear the file. I'm going to change that real quick. Desk, games. And I'm going to add Project Reality. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Look, it has its own little file. Prepare to use it only. That's far up to you. You have Pokemon, so up to you. But just let this do it for you because it's a little bit easier. It just keeps you nice and up to date, and you know that you're running on the best version. Next, next, next. Install. And it'll start installing. 
And when it's done, I'll get back to you in a second, because this can take a little while. It's in fact uh, nearly 7 gigabytes of files. It can take a little bit. Don't worry, it'll do its thing. Don't go freaking out when it takes forever, because some computers are faster, some computers are slower. But we'll see you in a second. And would you look at that, we're back here again. And now you see this. You see Project Rail Battlefield 2 version 1.3 setup. And so far you've done everything good. If you see this, finish, click finish. And we're already pretty much done here. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the steps. It's not too much, but we'll figure it out pretty quickly. Click play. Okay. See the little logo pop up. Now you can create a new account if you do that. See this? You fill it all in, and you can get an account. Black, but I have a retrieve existing account. So I'm going to do that. And just to protect uh, my identity, although my name is Asvegu, and you can see that. I'm just going to pause here real quick. And we're back here again, of course. And you'll see this little file, this little thing. Just a question there, whatever. You can click play. Manual options. It's always good to go to options to see this. So like that, good. I like to have high graphics, of course. Yada yada yada. Audio. Always good to change that up a little bit. I want the quality also to be high. And PR mode. This is really important. Now, see, I have my local speech and my squad already. I have it set to my mouse button. It's always good to have that if you can do that. It makes communicating a uh, project reality a lot easier. Um, yeah, there's also a little bit, a few other settings, like setting the strength of the audio, but not, but you can figure that out with, uh, by yourself. Right. Click play. See this? Password. It was always nice as, um, you can always use, uh, remember a password. Unless you use selected pass, uh, profile. Or remember password so you don't have to keep filling it in. And always using selected profile it means you can just push play here and you don't get the screen and just it's on with it anyways. Now this little thing, if you're new to Battlefield uh, 2 Project Reality mod, um, if you're part of a clan, say CIA clan for example, what you can do is you can fill this, CIA, I don't even know if they have the uh, equals taken or use this, I don't know, but you can fill that in there. Um, some of uh, more of the, more of the fam one of the more famous uh, project reality players is uh, Blue Drake Forty Two. He uses this DRK. Use that. And that's Drake Lings, but it's always pretty good to become familiar with the game and become part of a clan, and then you'll get the prefix that you can use. And that's it, actually. And then you can play Project Reality. Now. What we realize is there's going to be a lot of new players coming to Project Reality, and these are people that aren't unfamiliar with the game but just want to try it out. And I'm going to be doing a PSA here, a short, a short public service announcement. So if you already know the rules and whatnot, you can quit here. But I advise if you don't, just to catch up real quick. Now, Project Reality is a community-based game, and that means that. Uh, you're supposed to work together with other people. This is a little bit different than, a little bit, this is a lot different than, for example, uh, Battlefield 4, where you just go into the hailstorm and fire like a crazy uh, madman, whatever. That's not how this game works. Um, I'm just going to say this, not to scare people off or anything, but just so you know what you can expect from this game. We really rely on teamwork here. So that means that you're going to have squads, and once you're in a squad, you're going to have a squad leader. He's going to be giving you directions, or she, I don't discriminate. And you should uh, always follow his instructions. Lone wolfing is one of the greatest pet peeves in Project Reality, and it can quickly get you kicked out of a squad. Another thing is, is be very aware of your surroundings. In Battlefield 4, for example, if you get 5, 7, 10 uh, accidental team kills, it happens, whatever, you get over it. In this, if you get more than one, that's not very good. One is already pretty bad, and more than one is really bad. 
Now, of course, in the beginning, when you're playing this, I know how it is. It's all chaotic. You don't know what's going on. It happens. Don't get, get over it. Just learn from the experience. Everybody will be happy if you just accept your own mistake and you get on with it and you've learned something. Also, if you don't know what to do, ask for help. Of course, you'll every now and then you'll get somebody who doesn't want to explain something, but in general, the community by and large will actually help you. For example, if you see my name uh, come up and you're uh, playing with me, you can always ask me for help if you don't know what to do. And if I can, sometimes it's a bit of a hectic situation, I'm not ready to help you at that moment, I will help you. So don't be afraid to ask for help. I know how it is to be a new player. I probably started in the worst way possible. I got into a game mode that's called Insurgency, and that's probably one of the most chaotic forms uh, of gameplay here. I was on the surgeon side. I got into a squad that wasn't communicating. I had no idea what to do. Eventually walked into a full squad of enemy Americans. Started firing my gun uh, full auto. I had no idea what to do. Didn't even know, didn't even think to uh, aim my sights or anything. No, I just started shooting. Didn't hit anybody. I was dead two seconds later. It happens. You'll learn. The game, the learning curve for this game isn't very steep. You can do that. Just try playing the game out a little bit. Um, if you're really unsure, you can go to co-op and there you can play uh, single player in spots. Learn a little bit of the mechanics of the game. And what's also advisable is to go to here. And I said this to before, Project Rally Battlefield 2 version 1.3 player manual. Download it, read it. I know it seems like a bunch of work. So I'll download it here. And once you downloaded it, you'll see this. I'll minimize it a little bit to 100% because it's rather big. And I've seen four to ten pages, like, oh, that's so long or anything, something. Trust me, read it. Read the introduction, you see this table of contents. So, for example, you don't have to automatically start learning how vehicles work, just learn the basics, how the game works, what not, what more. And there's a lot of tips in here. There's even tips in here that some uh, veteran players don't even know. Not that they're bad, they just don't know it because they never read it, and it's just little things. For example, yeah, I can't really think of an example right now, sorry about that. But, yeah, you'll see it. And, of course, always ask for help. Don't be afraid to do that. Oh, yeah, here's a good tip. This is something that a lot of people don't know. It's estimated the round of rounds left in your magazine. You can open the communication rows, Q, and see the visual indicator of the ammo left. Now, this one example explains Project Reality, unlike other games. You don't see how many uh, bullets you have left in your magazine. You have to guess it. If you know, for example, that you can shoot 10 rounds, then you can count it up. But another easy way, because automatic fire is a little bit hard to count all those shots that you're firing, is press Q, see full, medium, low, and empty. And very clear system like that. And yeah, just read it. It's, it may seem long, 47 pages, but don't worry, you learn really fast, and this mod with this manual has been updated and it's been so much better than it was previously and the previous one was already pretty good and yeah just leaving this it's also good to learn vehicles just get a rough understanding of which vehicles there are because this can help you identify and help communicate with your team and help them uh, be more aware of the surroundings and yeah, just a lot of tips for example here Hitting on the uh, vehicle on the hatch with a lat kit is always much more effective than hitting a front on. And there's a lot of there's a lot of work that was put into this game. So try to uh, read it, learn it, and go into the game and have fun. Really, that's the most important. Just have fun, work together as a team, and believe me, those are the best times. I know it is in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3. Just going shooting, you do that for a few hours, you're done. This game, you can easily play this all day without even eating or going to the bathroom, and you'll still have a good time. If you do that, I would be a little bit concerned, because maybe you have uh, constipation, but that's another situation. 
So just go through it. And, yeah, have a good time. All right, guys, I hope this is helpful. If you have any more questions, just ask it in the comments below. And I'll try to answer them as soon as possible, of course. Now, have fun, and see you guys later. Bye.